Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to uninstall Microsoft Edge from the Windows 11 computer. So, if you're just trying to get rid of it, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Strongly would suggest creating a restore point or a backup of your system before proceeding though. But once you've done that, you're ready to accept the risk of that. We're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So, we're going to start by opening up File Explorer. So either select the taskbar or icon or search for it and you want to select this PC on the left side. Double click on your local disk, which should have the little Windows icon above it. Go ahead and double click on it. Double click on the Program Files Times 86 folder, and then locate Microsoft. Double click on it. Should be an Edge folder in here. Double click on that one as well. There should be an Application folder. Double click on it. And then finally, there should be a folder in here that has the version number of Edge. So at this point, you want to go ahead and double click on it. And you want to go down to Installer. Go ahead and double click on this. And now you want to hold down the Shift key on your keyboard. So hold down the Shift key and then right click in an empty location in this window. So again, hold down the Shift key and then right click in a blank area in here. And then select Open in Windows Terminal. Now I'm going to include a command in the description of my video guys. I want you to copy it and then paste it into this PowerShell window here. So just copy it. Go ahead and just copy it and then paste it in. Just control V to paste it in. Then hit enter. Select yes if you receive a user account control prompt. And then once you're done with that, if you try and open up Edge, it should no longer be on your computer. So again, pretty straightforward here guys. You see it does not open when you try and type it in, so it has been removed from our computer. You can reinstall it, but I just showed you guys how to remove it here. So pretty straightforward. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.